Two British firms recently announced their plan to deliver 5G internet to planet Earth from giant drone planes that can fly in the stratosphere for up to nine hours at a time. Unlike SpaceX's Starlink service, which will see thousands of satellites hanging in low Earth orbit, this new concept will require thousands of giant drones taking off and landing all the time worldwide. However, the two companies, Cambridge Consultants and Stratospheric Platforms Limited, or SPL, say that as few as 60 drones would be able to cover a country as big as the UK. The developers say the core of their stratospheric 5G concept is a cutting-edge antenna that can produce 480 steerable 5G beams that create patterns that can be painted onto the ground to cover specific areas, such as roads, railway lines, or shipping lanes. The huge antenna would be strapped to a drone that can provide its huge power requirements. Each drone will have a massive wingspan of 60 meters and would use eco-friendly but highly combustible hydrogen fuel, which would give it 9 hours of flying time. Elon's mega constellation of commercial satellites just got bigger. SpaceX successfully launched another batch of 60 Starlink satellites with a Falcon 9 rocket. Space.com reports that the mission lifted off at an airbase in Florida at 10.05 a.m. on Friday. According to SpaceX, Falcon 9 is a reusable first-stage booster with nine Merlin 1D engines that put out more thrust than five Boeing 747s at full power. The payload of 60 small satellites rides atop the rocket into orbit. According to SpaceX, Starlinks are telecom satellites that feature ion thrusters for maneuvering into position and articulated solar arrays. Space.com reports the latest launch brought the Starlink constellation up to nearly 300 satellites. The launch marked the fourth time the company used a booster four times. This rocket's earlier missions include a satellite launch and two runs to replenish the International Space Station last year. However, the rocket apparently missed the drone ship Of Course I Still Love You and made a soft landing in the seas near the robotic vessel. Space.com reports that the company is hopeful that the rocket can still be retrieved, citing SpaceX. The hype for 5G wireless technology is real, what with it being able to support virtual reality simulations and download feature-length videos in seconds. But what is 5G exactly and what are we willing to risk for better internet connection? 5G is the generation of wireless technology that follows 4G LTE mobile connections. According to Rackenter, it operates on higher radio frequencies called millimeter waves, which allows it to deliver data more quickly. However, its signal doesn't travel well through physical objects such as buildings and houses, and its waves can be absorbed by rain and humidity. Millimeter waves also have limited range. According to LifeWire, 5G signals cover less than one square mile from the cell tower, only allowing devices in close proximity to link to the network. This will require the construction of several 5G cell towers in order for devices to stay connected. According to The Verge, Verizon launched its 5G network in early May in Chicago and Minneapolis. The technology is hard to come by, but in areas near 5G towers, download speeds can reach between 400 and 600 Mbps. Users are thrilled, health experts on the other hand are concerned. In January, a group of 250 researchers and scientists from around the world signed a petition addressing the United Nations, the World Health Organization, and the UN Environment Program asking them to further investigate the impact of 5G technology on humans. They fear radio frequency radiation from devices, including cell towers, smartphones, Wi-Fi signals, TV antennas, might have adverse effects on human health. They listed increased cancer risk, genetic damage, structural and functional changes of the reproductive system, learning and memory deficits, and neurological disorders as possible side effects to being exposed to radiation. They recommended creating stronger regulations and guidelines for 5G networks, protecting children and pregnant women, and creating radiation-free areas. 5G could also reduce the accuracy of weather forecasts. According to a new study published in the journal Nature, 5G networks transmit at nearly the same frequency as weather satellites and could produce a signal similar to water vapor. This could throw off predictions and reduce accuracy by 30%, according to NOAA Acting Chief Neil Jacobs. Following up on his plans to transport 1 million people to Mars by 2050, Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, has now declared that it will also send hundreds of satellites to Mars to provide the colonists with space internet. SpaceX is currently building a Starlink mega constellation of small communication satellites around Earth and has already launched around 800 of these satellites into low Earth orbit. This mega constellation of satellites will eventually cover every part of Earth, and Elon Musk said it will give all people on Earth access to low-cost broadband internet. 
According to a recent interview with Time magazine, the company now plans to build the same mega constellation around Mars to provide the 1 million future citizens of Mars with space-based internet. Shotwell said the Starlink concept would also create a robust communication link between Mars and Earth, providing an interplanetary internet bridge. This ambitious satellite plan for Mars is typical of Elon Musk, who is spending big money on creating the rockets and spaceships required to get people to Mars. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.